All right, hey everyone, David here, and in this quick video, we are going to learn how to customize the WordPress footer and version text with absolutely no code required. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. All right, so uh, this is pretty much a fresh WordPress installation. And the first thing we are going to do is head over to plugins and add new. And the plugin that we are looking for is called ultimate dashboard. And since I already have that installed, all I need to do is uh, click activate. And now we're going to head over to ultimate dash and white label. We get a couple of options here, but we're going to look at what we have here at the footer. And yeah, this will allow us to change the footer text and version text of our WordPress admin area. Um, custom footer text and call this custom version text and hit save. And now when we scroll back down to the bottom, we will see our custom footer and custom version text here. So that is pretty much it for this video. I do have a code example for you as well if you do not want to use a plugin. Um, and I will have a link down below in the description to this paste bin. All we need to do is copy this um, piece of code and then we will add that to our um, child themes functions.php file. So this is the functions PHP file of my child theme that I'm using. And as I said, all we need to do is paste the code here. And this part of the code will change the, yeah, basically the admin footer text, while this part will change the version text. And then all you need to do is replace your custom footer and custom version text with the text you like. Now hit save. And now when we go back to the WordPress admin area and hit refresh, we should see our updated version and footer text and there it is. So yeah, as you can see, both uh, versions work just fine. This is the version that requires no coding and the other one is, you know, just tweaking the child themes functions PHP file. But as I said, both work exactly the same way and will achieve you the same result. So with Ultimate Dashboard, you obviously get a lot more options that I'm not going into detail in this video. You can check that out for yourself and I will have a couple more videos on, on the plugin itself. But that should be it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Otherwise, that's it for today. And yeah, thank you for watching. I see you in the next video.